Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dutch Brazil. Hey, just check, checking things out. To EU4, uh, League of the Maya Pen, we left off last episode actually getting to do some reconstruction. Uh, I dumped a ton of points into devving up my capital because I'd love to have a golden age, and I think now would be a good time for it. I just need to get my, my capital dev up a little bit further and we'll be able to do that. But I don't want to put the admin into it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to... Should have done this before. Courage development. It would have saved me a little bit. Core all that stuff up. And we are converting the Pueblo right now. And what is this? This is, oh, Inti. So that was Inca, Inca territory. Oh, and we just need to get that up a little bit further. Five more points, and we got it. Tolerance of the True Faith. Tolerance of the True Faith basically means minus two unrest everywhere I've converted, which is the majority of my empire. That's delightful. And I think that's prestige, missionary maintenance cost. Oh, that's... All right, that makes religious ideas much more interesting. Delightful. Uh, I've had a lot of people in my community um, complaining about... Oh, you know what I should do? Whoop. Uh, I've heard a lot of complaints about people complaining about the new way missionaries work, and that you actually that it costs a lot more money. Um, I have no issue with it. It doesn't bug me in the slightest bit. I, I like the change. I think it makes a lot more sense than the flat cost that we used to have. Uh, I'm actually going to go through in, because these are... I have the cash now. I'm going to go through and upgrade all of those now. Oh god, a lot of these are just tier 4s. Like everything. Well, $3,000 down into upgrading my forts. Probably for the best. Almost all the forts I had were like six, like early 1600 forts. Oh god. Well, I have the cash, so... But I mean, I've got a, a 3, a 2, and a 2 right now, and I'm still making that much money, so I'm okay with it. Only 56% of this node. That bugs me. Something is stirring, considering attacking Pasai. Well, yeah, I'm considering attacking, um... Uh, these, these twats. Because they're jerks, and I hate them, and they're jerks. Well, you know what would help? Uh, where'd my fleet go? There it is. Pop a leader. That'll increase my uh, my trade power there by a little bit. Not much, but by a little bit. Yeah, some of these are pretty pricey, you know. It's in a territory. Ooh. Let's see, what are the, what are, well, I wish it would give you a breakdown of exactly why it costs that much. It would, well... Maybe when we have a missionary to send it, will. Let's wait for this guy to finish and see if it'll give me a breakdown. No, it just says due to its development and autonomy. I mean, there's more mod. There, there's more things that modify it. I I think it would help a little bit. Um, for people, because I would say roughly fifty percent of the people I've heard complain about this just didn't fully understand the new way the mechanic works. And once they figured it out, they were like, oh, okay, I just, I, I didn't know that, and that threw me off. Um, I think just putting it in the tooltip here, of, of showing exactly where that money is going and what's causing it, I think that would help a lot of people out. I think that'd be a good idea. Yes, nice. Getting those conversions going. Considering the amount of money I have... And the and, and I, I took religious ideas, so I'm pretty quick at, at converting even tough places. Uh, it's not a big deal for me. Well, how much? But how much? Like right now, how much am I dumping into uh, religious conversions? Oh, only seven. Pfft. I can see that being a big, a huge deal if you you know are a smaller nation, though. Smaller, you know, it, it, 
uh, imagine you know playing in Europe. You you you're you're a small nation, just a few provinces, maybe only one. Take over another province during you know somewhere around the Reformation. That's a different religion, or the Reformation branches out, starts hitting you. It co costs a lot of you know could really tank your economy trying to fix that. See, I anything anything that makes the game. Oh well. Woo! Woo! What are we barking at? We were just outside, Penny. What are we barking at? She must have heard something. Um, <sighs> hunting accident, which sucks, but he was, he had a total of seven points, which is below average. So let's see if we can get someone with more than seven points. I do, considering that's below average. And I'm pretty sure th exactly 333 is average. You know, statistically, that's what it what it drifts towards. All right, so they went from this one to that one. Nope, it means one almost is almost done. It's not a bad thing. Because uh, that'll allow me to kind of get up here and start cock blocking a little more. Woo! Trade efficiency for 10 years and 50 Diplo power. Or some cash. Well. Technically, that's slightly better. Kanak. He did one point better. I had eight points on him. So it's not, not the worst hunting accident in the world. Oh, this one finished. I'm gonna keep filling that in. It'll make people happy to continue that. It'll make people happy. I could definitely use some forts up in Canada too, but it's just a it's 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 a lot of low dev stuff up there for the most part. It's just not a priority. And I'm not I'm not bent out of shape about spending that money on um conversions. So yeah, these ones down here definitely gonna get gonna get the full treatment because that's the one. Those are the ones they normally like get a boner for. Um, and I think we'll do some of these out of you know continuing up the coastline. I think we'll do some of these out of date forts. So right up to Roanoke. Yeah, right there. And that one get a couple get a couple going up here. Get the get the full get, get the full coastline all coastlined. Oh, did we? The the capital is still is not even a, a full full level fort. Yeah, look at that eighteen ducats. Quito, which ones? That that's this one. That's twenty two dev, high autonomy, selective breeding. Oh, livestock. Price of livestock and wool goes up. I was like, whoa, the Scandinavians are uh, engaging in some eugenics over there? That's, that seemed like them. We can increase the size of the fleet ever so slightly, too. Here's the main fleet. I, I'm, I, I'm thinking some more heavies would be, would be a good idea. Let's go ahead and, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten heavies. That'll help. Oh no, natives. Gotta get all that de delectable Canadian. Well, I mean, it's I, I I keep making fun of it like it's not like it doesn't matter. It's I'm collecting a fair bit of cash over here. Oh, you know what I could always do too, is uh oh yeah, it needs to be in a uh, there's a couple places that could get. Upgraded. Oh, I don't own that one. Alright, so how, what am I spending on conversions now? 47 ducats. Penny, Penny. Woo! Penny's not happy with that. I know! I, I, it's terrible! Okay, 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 we'll go see who's outside. And Penny hears something outside, she gets nosy. She wants to know what's going on. Lack of quessel feathers. 
Uh, I'm just gonna take the prestige. <sighs> Fucking pirates. I say that, but I am running pirates in my other EU4 game right now. Nice. And we're almost out of things to convert. Yeah, all the pwebs are converted. So they probably love me now. Yep. Imperialism against Russia. Oh, what's my spy network like over here? Okay, it's full. I don't think I can steal any maps from them that'll be useful for me right now without sending some ships over. Canada, eight provinces. Sure, why not? <laughs> I know it's not the most effective, but you know, anything any anything's useful. Hello, Huron. You poor bastards. Oh, you're fighting with the other natives still? <laughs> Don't you know there's bigger fish to fry? <laughs> there's big there's other problems in the area, you my friends. There are other problems. Mm. Before I forget, and by before I forget, I mean I've already forgotten. Trying to get this up to Fitty. Perfect. Let's let a month tick by and see if we have access to that. Well, shit. Yeah, there we go. Let's start our golden era. Cool. Cost it, it was a, a a lot of a lot of ducats too. A lot of ducats and a lot of mil, a lot a lot of point ducats to do that, but I think it's worth it. Let me finally have a golden era here. Let's let's actually get these guys uh, merged up down here. I thought I built ten. Hey oh gold, more gold for me. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's another one going. All right, so it was ten. Well, one of these is almost done. And then we'll... Yep, let's just take the production efficiency. There it is. Then we'll send them over here. Send colonists. You walk down there. Yes. Excellent. Uh, it gets us a, a slightly more impressive battle fleet. That's not what I want to do. I want to hit that button. 72 of my ships are out of date for the, at the cost of 1,300 ducats. It's I was going to say, it's probably most of my heavies. And all of the... The, uh, the transports. But that's okay. I had, the I had the cash on hand, so it's not a big deal. Man, the game's just handed me more cash, so... At least get my capital up to a star fort. And we got star forts down here. Um, that's a mountain province, isn't it? It is. So why don't we go ahead and make that mountain province a star fort? And what do we got over here? Into That's jungle. Here's another mountain province. Oh, it's all it's all terrible terrain over here. That's good. Well, let's, 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 I, you know, they could, they could be declaring war on me again at any second. So why don't we just hold off on that? And what is our, what is our professionalism? 55, not bad. No complaints there. And we're right at our naval force limit at the moment. We can always get that up there through construction. Oh, let, let's actually, un, let's, let's, let's let them get up to at least 25% before we fully mothball them. You know, just in case we need it. Yeah, and then we'll mothball. There we go. Thunder Bay. I love the name of that province. Ooh! Extra point professionalism. Absolutely delightful. And that one finished as well. And can't reach that one, but we can get Winnipeg. 
Or we could keep, keep uh, moving. You know, I think I should fill out the areas closer to the the British colonies first. Try to block them off, if at all possible. Man, the Dutch got a lot of Brazil. Oh, the way, Ob. You jerks. Local missionary <laughs> uh, maintenance, or, um, uh, uh, yeah, missionary maintenance. Permanent cost of maintenance. Who's it's is? We're almost done here. Culture conversion cost and multi -load. What the hell is that? Oh, the many jobs of a soldier. Well, I'm not going to lose that professionalism, so we're just going to lose the money. And Zach's pack Zoltz. Ooh. And that's the... Ooh. And admin tech cost. That'll be useful. Let's actually take a look at the uh, institution. I mean, it spreads very slowly where I have the... The universities. I should build more of those. And why don't we why don't we dump some funds into that? Let's see estate, trade good, cost. I mean it doesn't really matter where I build them. I don't think so at least right now. Ooh. At least that wasn't that bad. <laughs> it didn't drive me into debt. We got a couple forts up right now still that we don't need. It is going to be tough getting that institution over here. Loyalty in same continent subjects, improved artillery range, unrestricted conquest, naval engagement, improved force march, Napoleonic warfare, or anti-revolutionary zeal. Liberty is iron same uh, from subject development. Let's, I guess, do loyal subjects for now. It's only the Pueblo. Haven't really been doing a lot of uh, vassals this playthrough, which is not like me. Normally, I, I go vassals all over the place. But not today. Not today. Hmm. Yeah, give me those points. How close are, I don't think I'm, because I've only got one province accepting it right now. It's, it's, oof. yeah, it's not, well, I mean, like, some of these other ones, it's getting, it's getting there. It's getting there. Do I not have a, I mean, I have a scientist, so shouldn't it be expanding everywhere because of the scientist? University, same kind of, with her. Cap capital. Uh, it's not just the whole country. It's capital dip tech 20 with scientists. Okay. My bad. I thought it was just the whole country. Yeah, it's not going to spread anywhere fast like. The Enlightenment is uh, it's not keen on getting to the new world. But I could just keep building universities. They're great. Because it's local development is what it does. So just build them all over the place. <laughs> and, and in smaller countries, what I've definitely does it, d have done is built a university in every single province. I have done that. So that the entire country gets the end of the minus 20 dev cost. Yeah, I think what we'll do is mine Canada will just keep encompassing. And this dude will just, this singular guy will just work on, you know, filling in the region. Making it look nice. Eh, delightful. I'm happy with the way this has gone so far. Although, uh, I'm, I'm thinking the Mediterranean and California, and Mediterranean, the, oh god damn it. Why can't I, I can't think word mouthly. Um, the Caribbean and California need to be mine, I think. Alrighty. Oh, it's a little better, right? Not that weird border gore that's been there for ages. Starting to fill it in. Alright, that's good. 
God, that that three-star general did nothing. His entire his entire it was literally his entire military career was fighting those rebels and training troops, then dying. That's all he ever did. Sad life. Ooh, yeah. 60 ducats for an extra manpower? Hell yeah. No complaints there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think that discoveries don't spread the same if you're a new world nation. Because otherwise, I'm pretty sure I would just be able to see the world by now. That's mine, right? Yeah, that's mine. It's not a state, though. Finally done with that. Holy Wars and Cleansing Heretics. Love it. Let's see here. Check, take a look at our policies. Missionary strength and goods produced. National unrest. Uh, attrition for enemies. I like that. I have some good stuff in there, but I don't feel like paying for it right now. I don't want to pay the stuff for it. National unrest and stability cost modifiers. They're a better... Not much. What about here? We got land leader fire and discipline. I think I'll just leave those on for now. Luck or chaos? Everybody knows I like a little chaos. Oh boy. Oh yeah, the price of sugar went up. So these are worth way more now. That's why that changed. The price of sugar went through the roof. Also, I uh, devved up a sugar province a lot. Oh, that's gonna be nice. The, the natives of Winnipeg have risen up. Hi, Spain! You have not discovered Spain yet. Are you sure? I feel like I have. Ottomans in Scandinavia, what is this? Defender against the Ottoman Spanish Colonial War. That's got to be for Pacific territory. Yeah, probably down here. Portugal got the Philippines, it looks like. Ming looks like it's got some po some sort of pox. It's not it's not looking sexy. I've never played as Ming before. Those poor bastards. They never stood a chance, did they? Oh well. Thinking more plantations might be in order here. Hmm. Thinking maybe we do this last this last one here. Last uh tobacco one. And then we'll uh We'll call it a day for plantations. One more tick of cash. There we go. And then maybe start dumping it into more... More universities. Is it spreading anywhere in the New World quickly? Just No, just over here. We don't have borders over there or friendly relations. I'm not paying 26% ahead right now. It's just not my, uh... It, it, yes! I... Oh, God. They're worth the Knights. Great Britain, Austria, Spain, Russia, Ethiopia, Newfoundland, British Columbia, 13 colonies, Terra Austro Austral, and Pacifico uh, Nort. Wow. That's two different wars. Against Russia. The Russian Ottoman Imperialist War. Defender. Wow. Russia v. Ottomans. Whoa. So the Ottomans are. Wow. Wow. World War One. Maybe the Crimea. Maybe we call this the Crimean War. There's a lot of shit going down on Europe. 
Meanwhile, I'll just keep colonizing Canada for those delectable furs. Um, once I get enlightened, the thing is, once I get enlightenment, then I'll have more states. I'll be able to cherry pick the states that'll be able to get me more trade, and that'll help out my economy. Oliver the First? Oh, God. I don't think any... Has there ever been a, a king named Oliver? Do you expect great... Do you expect royalty out of your, uh, out of, out of, out of your, your... Your son, if you name him Oliver. Let's see, let's check the development here. We're looking for what province? Uh, Apequitic. So let's go down to E. It's about a few provinces. Well, looks like it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B in terms of benefit here. I'll go with base tax, though. All right, well... With that, I think we're going to leave this episode here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have enjoyed this series of League of the Mayapen, and I will see you all next time.